How's it going, everyone? This is Thorn. After many years of being away, uh, Rose and I just decided that we were going to start recording videos for fun again. Um, we're not really like other YouTubers wanting to do this for a job or anything. Uh, this is just this is just for fun. Um, so we we always enjoy doing videos, and uh, we're jumping back into it. Um, so uh, <clears throat> I thought. I'd start with my favorite video game of all time, Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. I always hate Let's Plays where they spend like 10 minutes talking before jumping into the game. So, uh, with that being said, let's just do this thing. You know what I mean? So, um, <clears throat> we're going to start a new one. I'll let the uh, opening intro play. Each event is preceded by prophecy, but without the hero, there is no event. See what happens. Would glitch there. In the waiting years of the third era of Tamriel, a prisoner born on a certain day to uncertain parents was sent under guard without explanation to Morrowind, ignorant of the role he was to play in that nation's history. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage, and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Many fall, one remain. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. There you go. We were dreaming. What's your name? What's your name? First things, let's bring this uh, volume down a little bit. It's kind of crazy. Audio. There we go. Master's not really doing anything. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, preferences. We're going to try something crazy here. We're going to do difficulty all the way to hard. Uh, menu help delay. We're going to put it to slow. Um, and auto save when rest, we'll leave that on. Always use best attack. We'll leave that off. We'll make it harder on ourselves. Um, <clears throat> Alright. So every game I play, I go with Caliber. I know I was doing Thorn back in the Skyrim Legendary uh, Let's Play. Uh, but we're gonna do we're gonna do this uh, you know, how I normally play games. Um, I used to play a lot of Morrowind. I countless playthroughs. And uh, my cousin would be with me, and I would just quote this opening the entire time. Uh, <laughs> he would, I, I don't know why he would watch me play. I, you know, nowadays I can't imagine just sitting around and watching someone else play. Um, but yeah, I would always play this little game. I try to get around this guy right here. There we go, got him. It was always a race to me. Um, we're gonna go up here. Okay, so I haven't played this game fully in a long time. But we're gonna go through. Don't joke them away. Uh, we're not really gonna optimize here. Oh, uh, in this game, you can optimize and start with some pretty crazy stats. Um, but uh, I always like going bald uh, face. I always like having the tattoo one. Uh, yeah, there's Caliber. There he is. There's my old friend. Uh, yeah, you can you can really min-max in this game, and I probably need to with the difficulty being so high, but uh, we're, we're not going to do that this time around. Alright, cool. So, um, I think you can start with uh, one of your stats in the 80s, I believe. If you go speed, if you go with the speed build, and... Uh, uh, before you're officially released. It's hard not there to quote this thing. I'm so used to doing it. The choice is yours. Uh, anyways, um, fill out the forms yourself. Always like making my own thing. We're going to go combat. We're going to go strength and endurance. Uh, we're going to go... Medium armor is my favorite, but we're going to go light armor. Because the best armor you can get in the game is either Daedric or Glass. Endoral armor really doesn't come close. Um, and I haven't installed the uh, expansions yet because I want to do things properly. So, um, so let's see here. So we'll go light armor. We'll go long blade. Um, we will go destruction 
and we'll go acrobatics because we love that sneak and we're gonna go marksman here we go okay uh secondary we're gonna go restoration because you got to heal yourself we're gonna go security and sneak because that's absolutely necessary um let me see here here we go security sneak um enchant is good alchemy i never really dove into alchemy though that is a great way to break the game um uh, let's instead go let's go athletics yeah let's run a little bit uh, adventurer is always my preferred name just because when i started playing this game i was new uh, i was a little boy when i discovered this game and what would that be uh, and Adventurer just became what I thought was a cool name to call yourself. It's like, yeah, like, why would I change that? Um, and then in this, there's a lot of things you can do. Uh, Shadow is epic. Um, Tower is almost necessary, some people say. Um, but in this game, you're going to end up, you're going to end up fighting stuff. And Fortify Attack is just a good little buff to make sure you're not missing a thousand times but yeah steed is what i was talking about if you go speed build and you go with steed and you choose the right race and all that kind of stuff uh you can start with i think like 80 in speed and just be super fast um but we're gonna go with warrior just because missing things a thousand times in a row is not fun um <clears throat> all right and let's see here caliber dark elf adventure of the warrior all good stats decent enough um yep yeah, here i think you can start with some 40s or about max i think you can get 45 maybe 50 with the right race choices it's been a long time can't quite remember um and i do have in the booklet for this game uh optimized build written in daedric um now a lot of people say you know you got to start off by stealing this plaque over here to gain some good money uh that's not really what we're looking to do um so uh, we're we're just gonna start playing the game as per usual. Okay, so we're gonna walk through here. Uh, just give me one moment while I check a few things. Okay, and I'm back. Yep, sorry about that little pause there. Uh, truth be told, Rose is calling me. We just moved to a new state, and she is at the DMV. So fun for her. Um, I don't bother stealing all this stuff. Is what I was saying. Like people say, you got to steal the plaque and all that kind of stuff. Um, the amount of money you get from all this is so negligible to what you can get and what you'll end up getting that it's not even it's not even worth my time. Not even worth my time. Um, okay. So uh, again, we're gonna get Fargoth's ring in here. Got it. Okay. Okay. Getting out here. Um, of all the Elder Scrolls games background morrowind duties <laughs> duty okay it's if you ask a little bit more he'll give you he'll give you a little bit more money i believe okay all right so he told me to go talk to ks casades who knows back in this game before everything was pronounced for you you had no idea how, how names were so it's fun to talk to people about morrowind and see them say so many different things about about like how to pronounce things, what they call different stuff. Um, you hear like Diedrich, Daedric, um, Dodrick, you know, <laughs> whatever. It's Fargoth, Fagoth, whatever, you know. Um, but yeah, the point is, uh, when starting this game, uh, I'm going to show you guys. I'm, I'm going to play on the hardest difficulty, but I'm also not going to avoid uh, any, any, uh, oh, it's E. Uh, any knowledge or like like all the secrets I know I'm not gonna avoid them you don't want to fight that mud crab on the hardest difficulty I'm gonna get this war axe here there we go okay if I wanted to I could get some money from Fargoth but again it's just not not worth it in the end the money you get is so much better later all right um there's a mortar and pestle you can steal here I'm gonna look uh, but anyways, um, on 100% difficulty, when you turn the difficulty slider up, you do 100% less damage to everything, and everything else does 100% more damage to you. So, that's fun. Um, I don't know, let's go close, cool, okay, quick little knowledge book there. 
All right, uh, so what I was saying is of all the openings in all the games, this one's my favorite. This was my first Elder Scrolls game that I ever played. Oblivion came next. Uh, never played Arena or Daggerfall. Those were before my time, in all honesty. But uh, I love it because they just kind of like, you start the game and... Let me drink a little bit of coffee here. Mmm. Coffee. Decaf. Not great, actually. But, uh... I like it because you just kind of you just kind of start the game and are thrown right in, and it's like here we go, you know, <laughs> we're playing. So uh, if we were playing the game the correct way, you start here, you do a few quests, you get you get um, a good deal from our our really great house by uh, giving Fargoth back his ring. Then you work with the Nord up top and find Fargo's hiding place, you steal the ring back, you get all the gold, all that cool stuff. You would also jump your way all the way to Balmora, going through Caldera, and work up that acrobat skill. That's the thing about here. I watch people do Minecraft parkour nowadays, and the, the, the OG parkour was, was Elder Scrolls. You would just jump everywhere to get your acrobatics high, and then you were Hulk jumping later on, get your strength high and all that. Um, However, we're just going to go straight to Balmora, and I'm going to go through my little ritual here to gain um, the best armor in the game and the best, uh, the best weapon in the game right from the beginning. Uh, as fun as it is, uh, we're just doing a quick playthrough here. My goal is not to, like, live in this world. So... Everyone has plenty of walkthroughs of them, like, making harder on themselves. There's other Let's Plays you can go watch that are cool, of people just, like, being like, Hey, this is Morrowind, and we're doing our thing. Um, that's not what I'm here to do. Alright, so we're going to stop into Chaos Cosades real quick. That's how I always said his name. Fort de Cosades. Yes. Orders. Oh, yeah. Okay. Orders. Okay, he gave me 200 gold. And this, again, I love it. You're in the main quest. You yeah, come to him, and he's like, hey, go find some trouble. So we're going to find some trouble. <clears throat> um, this is a good place to wrap up our first little episode. So um, I'm going to keep these about around 10 minutes. So thanks for checking in. Thanks for uh, for checking out this episode. I'm going to keep playing. It's not going to go away. Um, so I'm going to break these up and uh, parse them out throughout the week. However, uh, yeah. This was just getting started. We kind of got our nose wet, you know, got into the game, got our, our class started, all that good stuff. People who skipped episode one, probably not missing much. Uh, and yeah, so uh, this has been, this has been uh, Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind with Thorn. Rose is going to start recording some stuff too on her own. Um, there's not a lot of multiplayer games. We might do some overcooked and stuff like that, but for the most part, um, we're going to probably upload single videos just because a lot of our favorite games are single player. Um, but you can look forward to seeing more of Rose as well. All right. So um, anyways, guys, um, thanks for uh, checking us out again. Uh, if, if any of you are original subscribers from like all the years ago, then in the next few episodes where I have some more time to talk, um, I will I will fill you in on where we've been, what we've been doing, all of our, all our life stuff. Um, but for those of you who are new, just enjoy the game. We're going to have some fun. All right. Uh, sweet peace out, everyone. Spoilers, spoilers.